The Law of One is a philosophy that describes the nature of our reality in which we live and breathe and have our being. And it was channeled to us by those of Ra, uh, to Don and Carl and me. And those of Ra are a member of the Confederation of Planets in the service of the One Infinite Creator. This confederation answers the call of people on planets such as Earth for assistance in aiding their own evolution. Don asked them if they were the same entities that the Egyptians worshipped as the God of the Sun. They said that unfortunately the Egyptians worshipped them and they were the same entities, but they did not want to be worshipped as gods. They came as brothers and sisters to attempt to answer the call of the Egyptians for information that could aid in their spiritual evolution. At that time, the Egyptians saw that the creation was alive, which was close enough to seeing the creation as the creator for those of Ra to walk among them. And they did walk among them and attempted to teach in person this law of one. But unfortunately, the Egyptians at that time decided to reserve this teaching for only the rich and the powerful. So Ra felt that this perversion of the law of one that was a responsibility which they needed to balance. In other words, they needed to try to make other contacts that would clarify that the uh, law of one does describe the nature of evolution and of our reality, but that they are not gods. They are here to be of service and we're here to help us in our own journey here on planet Earth. Ra themselves is what they called a social memory complex which is what this planet Earth could become if we could take our various diversions of interests and divisions that separate us and blend together into one seeking manner, point the compass, as Ross said, in one direction. And then we could transition into the fourth density of love and understanding and form our own social memory complex, which would in effect be a huge library of information with every entity's experience from every incarnation that would provide a way for us to be of service to others much as Ra was of service to us. The Ra contact began on uh, January 15, 1981 and it lasted for 106 sessions with the last session, 106, being on March 15, 1984. It was channeled in what you might call the deep trance state where Carla, who served as the instrument, would leave her body and be in the same location as those of Ra. So apparently, Ra's uh, ability to channel through Carla then was done by them using her body, especially her vocal cords, to make words that would respond to Don's questions. And in this fashion, they were able to transmit to us information which was most precise and profound in my estimation in a way that is seldom done in channeling because in most types of channeling the instrument is there and has some ability to affect the channeling one way or another. In the raw contact this was not the case since Carla was not there and not able to affect the contact. So when she was with those of raw she was not able to affect the message itself to uh, deflect it or to control it in any way whatsoever. That meant that we were able to get uh, whatever Ra wanted to say came through as clearly as it could possibly be enunciated. Before the Ra contact, Carla was a conscious channel, which means that she knew that she was sitting in a chair and receiving information from a source exterior to herself. And if she simply repeated the words that she heard, then the contact would continue and there would eventually be a complete message that would make sense and hopefully be of service to others as many of her channelings were. But the raw contact was different. In the raw contact, Carla went into trance and not only went into trance, which means that she was at a much deeper level of consciousness, she also left her physical body. We never had any idea how she did this. She had no training for it. We just figured that it was a gift she brought with her into this life. So when she left her body, she went to those entities of Ra and was with them, although she was also not aware of being there. As far as Carla was concerned, a session with Ra 
consisted of going into trance for her, going to sleep, waking up from trance, and being rather stiff and uh, having pain in her body here and there. <laughs> 